Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Odin's movie blog. I am the critic who is a cynic. Hope you're doing well. And today, we're going to be talking about Charlie's Angels actress Kristen Stewart claiming that she communicates with ghosts. Yes, indeed. This is what the world's coming to, where everyone in Hollywood is so full of themselves, and everyone in Hollywood just cares so much about what other people think that they will believe in some of the most ridiculous things and talk about them when promoting really crappy-looking films, because... <laughs> Everyone pretty much knows my opinion of what the new Charlie's Angels film is going to be. No one was asking for it. No one wanted it. And now you have everyone attached to the film, except for Naomi Scott. At least I haven't seen anything from her recently. But definitely with the director of the film trying to push, saying, oh my gosh, this is going to be part of the hashtag Me Too era. And it's going to be about how you should believe all women and all this stupid nonsense. But it just makes me so happy to see these Hollywood elitists just spousing some stupid ideas that even most people can say, okay, there's, there's something not quite right with you. And uh, Kristen Stewart, you're definitely one of them. So as you can see, here. Charlie's Angels actress Kristen Stewart recently claims that she can communicate with ghosts. Not just that she believes in ghosts, but that she can actually communicate with them. In an interview with Vanity Fair, one of the most best, one of the best publications in media, Stewart is discussing her role in 2016 in Personal Shopper, where she plays a personal shopper for a celebrity in Paris and attempts to communicate with her deceased twin. When asked if Stewart believes in ghosts, the Charlie's Angels actress responded, I talk to them, she added. If I'm in a weird small town making a movie and I'm in a strange apartment, I will literally be like, first off, I love when people say, I will literally be like, oh my gosh, you just can't believe, oh my gosh, like, you're gonna love this movie, and if you don't, then it means that you're a misogynist and you're just the worst person ever. Trust me, I talk to ghosts, okay? I talk to ghosts, so you better trust me. I would literally be like, no, please. I cannot deal. I can't deal. Who talks like this? Anyone else, but it cannot be me. Who knows what ghosts are, but there is an energy that I'm really sensitive to, not just with ghosts, but with people. People stay in rooms all the time with their energy, with their, oh, uh, with their essence. You know what this says to me? This says that there's something probably severely wrong with you and you need help. Seriously, I think that there's... <laughs> There might be some, and this is not just for her, this is for any actor, I feel. I, th I think in order to be an actor in Hollywood and to cover up for all the nonsense that goes on behind the scenes and to push for some of these ridiculous things in their movies and also to, of course, have thoughts like this, there has to be something wrong with them behind the scenes. Now, I know that there's probably people that watch this channel that believe that they've had interactions with ghosts, that they've seen these types of things happen. And I'm not trying to, you know, take away or, or belittle anyone that's gone through a certain experience like that, even though I personally think that you'll be able to explain most of those situations with sound logic and reason. I will say this much, though. It's one thing to say that something weird happened. It's another to say, oh, I can communicate with them. Like, seriously, I I feel like I feel like Kristen Stewart should have been the one cast in the Sixth Sense saying, I see dead people. I talk to ghosts all the time. And I'm like, please, not me. Here's what the best part of everything is, though. Stewart has stated this. I think I've grown out of this, but I used to be really frustrated that because I didn't leap willingly into being at the center of a certain amount of attention, yeah, says the person that they say they talk to ghosts, then it seemed like I was an a-hole. I'm in no way rebellious. I'm in no way contrarian. I just want people to like me. Ah, and there it is. This is, to me, the biggest problem with modern-day Hollywood is it's all about me, 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 me. I want all the people to like me. I want all the people to believe in me. I want all people to believe in every single thing that I say, and that means that I might not say these various things in public, but you know what? I'm going to say it anyway because I'm not contrarian. I'm not a rebel. I'm not going to do anything, even though talking to ghosts is by no means a part of the mainstream. It's so in it's so fascinating that these people will just contradict themselves constantly in their day-to-day -day discussion. Stuart will appear as Sabina Wilson in the upcoming Charlie's Angels film alongside Naomi Scott, who I actually really like, and Ella Belinsky, who I don't really know who she is. They will be joined by Elizabeth Banks, Patrick Stewart, Noah Centine, uh, Centine, Cent Centineo, and Jaman uh, Hansu. Jaman Hansu is freaking awesome and amazing. Elizabeth Banks, I really do like her in some things that she does, mostly whenever she's a supporting character. I don't think that she really has the chops to be a leading presence. I thought that she was very good in Brightburn, and I thought that she was very good in shows like Wet Hot American Summer and all the different various uh, spinoffs they did of that show over on Netflix. But Elizabeth Banks in the interviews has made it very clear that this is going to be a woke film, that this is going to be a film pushing a certain agenda, and I think that things like this coming out from their actors like Kristen Stewart, where basically she's saying, I just want people to like me, but also, by the way, I see dead people, I believe in ghosts, it's just not really going to help them pushing this forward. But anyway, guys, what are y'all's thoughts about this? Do you think Kristen Stewart is an awesome person? Do you think that they should remake? You know, Hollywood's all about remakes these days. Do you think that they should remake The Sixth Sense and instead just cast <laughs> live in the real life, make it a documentary with following Kristen Stewart around these random places where she claims to have the ability to talk to them and to be able to you know sense their energy and everything you know oh my goodness this new age crap that's just infesting hollywood these days is not helping anyone it's so freaking ridiculous so let me know your thoughts about that in the comments below but also as you've been seeing there's been a common trend with the uh, with the channel lately at the end of my videos to promote 
a new sponsor of the channel. And it's because I really honestly believe they're a pretty cool company. And so today I'm going to be promoting once again, Displate. If you want to get some awesome, cool looking metallic posters and you want to save some money, you can go to Displate.com. You can check the link in the description because that way it's affiliate link, meaning that if you buy something, I get a little bit of a kickback on it. So it does support the channel, but you can also use my code to get 15% off. But going on today, you can actually get 20% off on all orders and also get free shipping. So yeah, they're a little bit on the pricey side when it comes to these posters, but that's because they are made of metal. So right here, I've got this awesome, freaking awesome John Wick poster with all the guns surrounding him. It looks freaking amazing. As I said before, I can't wait to have time, hopefully this weekend, to actually find places to hang these. I want to hang them behind me at some point in time, but I got this. And I've, of course, I've been showing off the Alita Battle Angel poster, but this is just a freaking awesome poster and I can't wait to hang it up. And again, as I said, high quality, made out of metal, meaning it's not going to bend, it's not going to crease, and it's something that's going to last for a very long time. And it's really cool because you hang it on your wall by basically play, putting these uh, magnets on your wall, sticking magnets on your wall, and because it's metal, it just sticks right to it. In fact, you can see they've got these magnets right behind it. And so it's very easy. It's very simple to put up. So I can't wait to show you guys these, but think about clicking on it, think about using my promo code or the promo code on the website right now. And in fact, let me go ahead and just post, put that up for you guys. That way I can tell y'all exactly what it is. So 20% off if you use the code happy in checkout, and also you get free shipping as well. It says there July 8th, but obviously it's long past that date. So that means as a, this, this sale will end August 8th. So think about getting it now. You'll probably get it for the cheapest that you could possibly get. And also free shipping is pretty good. And I've got some, some more posters coming in soon but anyway guys please let me know your thoughts about this and all the other things we talked about in the comments below if you like this video smash that like button give me a subscribe it helps me out a lot you guys are all amazing and beautiful people have a wonderful day and as always god bless